Hello everyone and welcome to my Royal Family Today Update channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Prince Andrew comes to Sarah Ferguson's aid as she recovers from her breast cancer surgery. The Duchess of York is recuperating at home following her breast cancer diagnosis and surgery. Prince Andrew is reportedly supporting ex-wife Sarah Ferguson following her cancer diagnosis. Fergie, 63, is resting at home after undergoing a single mastectomy following a routine checkup. Fergie is being cared after at the Royal Lodge in Windsor by Prince Andrew and their daughters Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie. The grandmother of three has revealed how she went for a normal mammogram and was diagnosed with cancer. Her agents confirmed in a statement that she was now recovering at home in their grade AI listed property, which is part of the Crown Estate. Despite their divorce in 1996 after 10 years of marriage, she shares the house with her ex-husband Andrew, 63. Despite the divorce, the couple remain strong friends and he is said to be by his ex-wife's side as she recovers at King Edward VI Hospital in Marylebone, central London. Sarah, Duchess of York, was recently diagnosed with an early form of breast cancer detected at a routine mammogram screening, a representative for the Duchess told the Mirror. She was advised that she needed surgery, which she underwent successfully. The Duchess is receiving the best medical care available, and her doctors have assured her that her prognosis is favorable. She is now recovering at home with her family. The Duchess wishes to express her heartfelt gratitude to all of the medical personnel who have assisted her in recent days. She is also grateful to the mammogram staff for detecting her illness, which was otherwise symptom-free, and believes her experience emphasizes the importance of regular screening. Fergie was conspicuously absent at the Royal Ascot last week, most likely because of her cancer surgery. Andrew has also been absent from public view this week, having only attended the private sections of the Order of the Garter Day event on Monday. The couple, who have been living together again since 2008, have been threatened with eviction from their 31-room Windsor Estate property. Sarah Ferguson sends a poignant message to royal admirers after being diagnosed with breast cancer. Sarah Ferguson thanked fans on her social media accounts for their kindness and support following her cancer diagnosis. Sarah Ferguson praised her supporters after it was announced that she had undergone surgery following her shocking breast cancer diagnosis. On Twitter and Instagram, she posted a photo of a vivid purple flower with the caption, Thank you so much for such kindness and support. Fergie, 63, is recovering at home in Windsor after undergoing a mastectomy. The grandmother of three has revealed how she went for a normal mammogram and was diagnosed with cancer. Her agents confirmed in a statement that she was now recovering at home in their grade A listed property, which is part of the Crown Estate. Sarah, Duchess of York, was recently diagnosed with an early form of breast cancer detected at a routine mammogram screening, a representative for the Duchess told the Mirror. She was advised that she needed surgery, which she underwent successfully. The Duchess is receiving the greatest medical treatment available, and her doctors have given her a positive prognosis. She is now recovering at home with her family. The Duchess wishes to express her heartfelt gratitude to all of the medical personnel who have assisted her in recent days. She is also grateful to the mammogram staff for detecting her otherwise symptom-free illness and believes her experience emphasizes the importance of regular screening. Fergie was conspicuously absent at the Royal Ascot last week, most likely because of her cancer surgery. Andrew has also been absent from public view this week, having only attended the private elements of the Order of the Garter Day ceremony last Monday. It's been a difficult time, but she is very grateful to the medical staff who performed the mammogram and who looked after her these last few days, a friend said. She is quite grateful. Although the disease was detected early, she has been instructed to rest at her Windsor Lodge residence, which she currently shares with ex-husband Prince Andrew. She is expected to utilize her massive platform to encourage women to get regular screenings, which is especially timely given that she is the mother of two children. The procedure was performed at King Edward VI Hospital in Mary Garter be revoked for Prince Andrew? Prince Andrew did not attend the Garter Day ceremonies at Windsor Castle last week, fueling speculation over his future as a Knight of the Garter. The Duke of York has held the honor since 2006, however for the second year in a row, 
he was barred from participating in the annual procession and ceremony at St. George's Chapel. King Charles has the authority to remove his younger brother from the famous order, but according to the Daily Mirror's royal editor Russell Myers, there is no way he would do so. Mr. Myers told the royal beat that the award is probably the only thing remaining for the disgraced prince, who stepped aside from public life in 2019 after losing his military titles, royal patronages, and HRH status. It's an interesting situation for the king, how much he wants Andrew to be seen in public, he stated. I'm sure he just wants him to attempt to retire and not cause him any trouble. He's just hoping Andrew fades into the background. Andrew has expressed a desire to return to royal life, but I doubt it will happen. Mr. Myers stated of Andrew's removal, there have been removals from the garter, it's really completely within the king's gift. And Charles is not going to do that to his brother. The sovereign personally selects who is granted membership in the order of the garter and has the authority to remove individuals. Since its inception in 1348, 40 persons have been eliminated. Fergie discusses how her breast cancer diagnosis changed my life and confirmed surgery. On the most recent episode of her podcast, she revealed that she had a single mastectomy after a routine checkup revealed that she had breast cancer. Sarah Ferguson, Duchess of York, has promised to be super strong and fight on after learning she has breast cancer. On her podcast Tea Talks, Prince Andrew's ex-wife stated that the cancer was discovered early after a normal mammography, before urging her listeners to get their scans as soon as possible to help locate the illness. The Duchess also announced that she had had a single mastectomy, saying that her diagnosis was a true gift to me and will change my life. We're taping the podcast today, but tomorrow I'm going in for a mastectomy, a single mastectomy, and it's very important that I speak about it, she explained, so you'll know I've been through this when it airs. I want every single person who listens to this podcast to get checked, to get screened. Fergie also promised to get super fit, super well, super strong and said she only went because her sister Jane insisted. Tuesday, two weeks ago, when my sister from Australia said, Sarah, get on with it, she added. I live in the Windsor area, it was a hot day, I didn't want to go to London, it was easy to put it off, and my sister, who's wonderful and from Australia, and I normally do what she says, was so cranky. No go, I need you to go, she said. She was calling about something else, and becoming stern with me about having to go, and she is correct. Thank you very much, Jane. Fergie explained on the current edition of Tea Talks, which aired today, how important it was to her to come out about it in order to persuade others to get mammograms. I'm telling people because I want every single person who is listening to this podcast to go and get checked, go and get screened, go do it, she said. I'm taking this as a genuine gift to change my life and nurture myself. Sarah, Duchess of York, was recently diagnosed with an early form of breast cancer detected at a routine mammogram screening, a representative for the Duchess told The Mirror. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.